Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. Today video is on form service attribute, which we usually use in .NET Core for, for injecting the any service in the action method directly instead of the constructor. Okay, so from .NET 7 onwards, we no need to use the form service attribute. Okay, DI can automatically inject the particular service if it if any service is using as a input parameter to the action method okay so here is our dotnet 7 application you can see the version and i have created a sample controller like student and one get action method so here i am using the service injecting into the constructor like normal way but dotnet core supports injection at action level also so let me remove it from here And here I can inject service. So for that, from up to .NET 6, we have to use from service attribute. Okay. So I student service. So what this will do means this attribute. By default, if you don't specify like this, API expecting some data service either from the user body or through query parameter but this is a service where it is registered in our da in program.cs file you can see this is my service registered in da so to inject it directly into the action method up to dotnet 6 we have to use the from service attribute okay from service attribute let's save it let me check the endpoint so here is my student endpoint and if I try see here it is showing execute if I click on it here you can see some sample response is coming for me okay but from .NET 7 onwards you no need to give this service attribute because DA itself automatically determines first it will check whether this service is registered in the DA or not if it is registered in the DA, then it will then it will inject from the DA service, the object instance. If it is not registered in the DA service, then it will treat as a input parameter from the client, either from the body or the query parameter. Okay, let's save and check whether uh, now our endpoint is working or not. See here, if I try, it's showing execute button. That means my endpoint is working. I am response also getting. So from .NET 7, if you don't specify also, it will work. Okay. Now for suppose .NET itself claiming that very, very rare cases, DI unable to inject the service properly. In that case, if you want to disable this implicit uh, form service injection, Okay, if you want to disable it, you can do that. For that, we have to go to our program.cs file, and here we have to disable the default DI injection. Okay, services and configure the app, sorry, API behavior options. Okay, that loads from the MVC, I believe. ASP.NET Core MVC. Okay. And here in this options, we can specify like options dot disable implicit form service parameter. Okay. So we have to make it true. Now I am explicitly disabling the this service injection support okay if there is no form attribute now i am saying application not to inject automatically so let's re rerun the application okay now go to endpoint okay now if i click on try out see it is expecting something in the request body why previously this is not there some body is expecting because now it is unable to recognize it as a DI service. Now it is treating as a one of the input parameter for the API where user have to pass. 
like either a body is treating like a body object that is why now we cannot get the response because our request is failing because it is expecting some body it is treating our service as a one of the input parameter okay now if you want to work it like old way we have to specify like form service okay again rerun the application okay now if i check now see there is no body parameter it is expecting if i click on tryout there is no body input parameter now i can simply execute and i can see the response so that's it this is one of the new feature from dotnet 7 onwards thank you so much for watching this video i hope this video delivered some useful content to you all if you like my video please do support me by subscribing my channel as well as by liking the video Soon we are going to meet with new video until then signing out.